What inspired me to kind of put in what we are doing was to give as many people as possible in this community the chance to physically put their hands into something that then could build on the bridge. Um, and the way, you know, the most efficient way of doing it and the most interesting way of doing it was to kind of give them something soft and pliable and ceramic um, and invite everybody to make some tiles and then we can mosaic them and put them wherever in the landscape. So when people come, they can go and find and, uh, their, their kind of place and say, no, I helped to make this. We've worked with different community organisations and schools, we've worked with Cadder Primary, St Cuthbert's Primary, uh, the Women's Centre, um, Hawthorne House. It's, it's dead interesting because people are just making patterns but they're using the things around their houses to do it. So, And then we've also said to people go and take a walk along the canal, go and pick up some of the, the, the flora and fauna and press them in and see what that's like. The canal became a really big feature in Glasgow's pottery industry um, and along the Monkland Canal and the, uh, the Firth and uh, Clyde Canal um, there were at least four of Glasgow's main potteries and so the project is really trying to draw on that heritage. It was really important that along the canal that using this clay that the heritage was thought about. 